Hey everyone, Dreamlight Kingdom here. Today, Dreamlight Valley released its first patch, and I just want to go through the patch notes real quick with everybody so we can all see what's been updated in the game. One quick note, it says for those playing on multiple devices with cross-save, make sure that all platforms you play on have been updated before switching devices to prevent any further issues. Okay, so under the balance section, it says that they've adjusted spawn rates and loot tables for sparkling buried items. I think that's like the nightmare shards and stuff. And then they've increased respawn timer range, reduced minimum and maximum number of sparkling buried items to spawn at a given time per biome. That's kind of a confusing sentence, but I think that means there's going to be more sparkling buried items at any given time. Though it says reduce. I really don't know what that means. But they've added dream shards to the reward loot table. Each sparkling buried item now has a chance to spawn either one to two night shards or one to two dream shards and then they've adjusted the loot tables for feeding critters they've removed flowers from the loot tables they've added dream shards to the loot tables when feeding critters something they like previously it was only possible to get dream shards from feeding critters something they love so now you'll get more dream shards the more often you feed critters although i can't feed most of my critters so i hope they get that patch soon so they've also adjusted the loot tables for clearing night thorns so now when you remove a night thorn there's a decreased chance of coal dropping and an increased chance of dream shards dropping which is awesome. Onto the bug fixes. They fixed error number seven, which caused some players to experience an issue with the game sticking on the loading screen if they quit the game while having the well-fed buff. They fixed account desynchronization issues that occurred when selecting the back to title screen on the Epic Games Store. They fixed issues causing some users to be desynchronized from their profile due to connection latency. They've also improved online reconnection while playing. They've improved the founders reward pack claiming accuracy, granting mission rewards. They say they'll continue to monitor this issue and explore further bug fixes as needed. If you've experienced this bug, please fully close the game and reboot it while connected to the internet. Then check your inbox for a new message containing your missing items. And over in the user interface and experience, they've also increased the text font size on the Switch and increased the menu loading speed. For stability, they've reduced the crash frequency on the Nintendo Switch. They say that additional optimization will come in future updates, so don't stress if you get more crashes on your Switch. They're still going to keep working on it. For the quest, they fixed an issue with quest items not appearing in Scrooge McDuck's store. If you experience this bug, this item will not spawn in Scrooge McDuck's store, but will spawn in a random unlocked location outside in the village as a backup. If you struggle to find the item, please feel free to contact customer care. They've also fixed an issue with Wally's The Shy Little Robot quest involving a fire extinguisher that was not working correctly. If you experience this bug, you can find a fire extinguisher waiting for you inside Scrooge McDuck's store. They've also fixed an issue with a quest item from Donald Duck's a house fit for a duck quest that spawned in an unreachable part of his house. I know I've been seeing a lot of people complain about that one, so I'm really happy to see that's been fixed really quickly. They've also fixed an issue with Scrooge McDuck's Scrooge McDuck's Grand Reopening quest in which crafting flower pots did not work correctly. If you experience this bug, you can find additional flower pots just outside Scrooge McDuck's store. Remove them using the furniture editing mode to craft with them. They've also fixed an issue in which quest items were stuck in the bottom of the mystical cave on the beach. They've also also fixed an issue in which completing Goofy's fishing expedition quest did not work correctly if the player's inventory was full. They've also addressed an issue in which a memory shard appeared in an unreachable part of Merlin's Dreamlight Library. They fixed an issue with Elsa's What Home Feels Like quest in which it was possible to catch a glittering herring too early in the quest. If you experience this bug, you can now catch another glittering herring. The other one will be removed at the end of the quest. Onto the customization issues they fixed. They fixed an issue in which the chest placed in the player's house may disappear when adding new rooms. If you experience this bug, add a new crafted chest to your house. Your items that disappeared will reappear here. They also fixed an issue in which players who imported their avatar from the avatar design tool were unable to change their clothes. They fixed an issue in which some rewards from the star path would be available to acquire in areas of the game they were not intended to. They've also fixed an issue in, with Ariel's Seafoam Gown, which is a friendship reward and where it displayed as invisible. I'm glad that's fixed because I had that bug. They also fixed an issue in which the player could not cook in the oven and hood gifted by Remy. I also have that bug, so I'm glad to see that's fixed. And finally, they've adjusted the Miguel motif. I don't really quite know what that means, but they've adjusted it. Okay, so that's everything for the patch notes. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.